Hello, hello, grade 12s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only Science Therapist, who abuti wasos ukobela wemets. And without any further ado, let's look at these questions that we have here. Okay, so we have question seven, still on acids and bases. It says, um, ethanoic acid is a weak acid that reacts with water according to the following balanced equation. As we can see here, this is our balanced equation. Then 7.1.1 says define an acid in terms of the lowry branstad theory. So quickly on that one, we say an acid is a proton donor. Right. So that's how we define an acid according to the Lowry branstad theory. Now, 7.1.2 says, give a reason why ethanoic acid is classified as a weak acid. Now, we know the reason um, that anything is a weak acid. We say it's because it ionizes partially in water. So, it ionizes partially in water. Right. Then 7.1.3 says, write down the formulae of the two bases in the equation above. So now for that one, let's do our acid uh, conjugate base pair. So we have our acid here, along with its conjugate base pair. And then here we have a base along with its conjugate acid, right? Now, the two formulates for the bases are this and that, right? So, we have H2O and CH3, COO minus, right? So, these are our two bases, right? So, done with that. Now, let's uh, start with the calculation questions. So, we have a flask contains... 300 centimeter cube of dilute sodium hydroxide um, of concentration 0 0.167 mole per dm cube. So we can see that we are given our volume here, but in terms of centimeter cube, we know that we have to convert it by dividing by 1000 so that we now get 0 0.3 decimeter cube, right? Okay, so now to calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in the flask, we know the formula that we have to use is the one that goes C is equals to N over V, right? Where our concentration is 0 0.167. And then we are looking for the number of moles, but the volume right now is 0 0.3, right? Now, if we cross multiply these ones here, we get a 0 0.05 mole, rounded off uh, to two decimal places, of course, right, as per the instruction of the exam. Okay, so three marks for that. We can say that it was just easy peasy formula, substitution into the formula and the correct answer with the correct SI unit. Right, now um, let's move to this one here, ethanoic acid of volume, 500 centimeter cube, and, uh, and of unknown concentration X, is now added to this flask to give a solution of volume 800 centimeter cube. So now they're adding to which flask? To this flask here that contains 300 centimeter cube. Note that it is still a continuation to that question. So now if you take the 500, add it to this 300, now you have a combined volume of 800 centimeter cube, right? Then they say it is found that the pH of the mixture is 11.4. Now the balanced equation for the reaction is as follows here. Then 7.2.2, they're saying calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ions in the mixture for four marks, right? So we are supposed to find the concentration of the hydroxide ions. Now to calculate that, uh, knowing the fact that we are given the pH, we know that the formula that we have to apply, is the pH is equals to negative log uh, concentration of the hydronium ions, right? 
Now at this point, our pH is 11.4 and then is equals to negative log and then concentration of the hydronium ions. So now let's apply our log rules to calculate the concentration of the hydronium ions. So this will be uh, 10 to the exponent of negative 11.4, right? Then the concentration of the hydronium ions that we will get from this if we punch it into our calculator is a uh, 3.98 times 10 to the exponent of negative 12 mole per dm cube right but then note that we wanted the concentration of the hydroxide ions since uh, we know that according to this ph here that means our solution will be basic. So the mixture is basic. So now we still need to go further here to calculate the concentration of the hydronium ion. So we make use of this formula here. Remember, I did hint you on this one that every time we are dealing with a, with a base, then you have to always note that we will use this formula here. Then uh, to calculate, let's substitute our concentration for the hydronium ions. Then multiply that by the concentration of the hydroxide ions. And then is equals to 1 times 10 to the exponent of negative 40. Now at this point, we understand that we have to divide by this both sides. So what you do on the left hand side you also do on the right hand side is the rule of maths then okay now to find our concentration of the hydroxide ions we just simply need to punch this into our calculator so we know what goes on here this will just uh, divide out so now let's find our solution for the concentration of the hydroxide ions when we punch that into our calculator we get 2.51 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3, right? Mole per dm cube. Let's not forget the SI unit. Now, if your calculator does not do scientific mode, then uh, the answer that you got is 0 0.00251, right? So if it did not uh, write it in terms of the scientific notation. So this, uh, this are uh, the... These are the same answers, by the way. So, uh, do not do not doubt your answer if maybe you got this one instead of that one. Is still the same answer. The only difference is that this one is right, is written in scientific form, and then this is just normal decimals, right? Okay. So, uh, for four marks, that's all you were supposed to do to calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ions in the mixture. Okay, so well, on 7.2.3, the main question for six marks, it says calculate the initial concentration X of the ethanoic acid solution, right? So uh, before we can start, I want you to just understand this. I'll just try to have an illustration of this question. So basically, we have our flask of 300 centimeter cube which contains uh, the sodium hydroxide solution, a dilute sodium hydroxide solution. And then we also have another one here, which contains the ethanoic acid, right? And then CH3COOH. Now understand that sodium hydroxide here is a strong base, and then this here, ethanoic acid, is a, is a weak acid. So they're now saying that the ethanoic acid is added. So they take this ethanoic acid, pour it inside uh, the flask here to make a volume of 800 centimeter cube, right? So they pour it into this sodium hydroxide. Now this solution here in 10 becomes basic or alkaline. We can see that with our pH being 11.4, right? And also the fact that in 7.2.2, they asked us to calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ions in the mixture. Now we know that uh, we are calculating that because the solution will obviously produce hydroxide ions since it is basic, 
right so this is the mixture here now note that in this mixture we have already calculated the concentration and then we found 2.51 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 mole per dm cube right but then from 7.2.1 we had already calculated the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide in the flask right so before uh, the ethanoic acid was added here so we calculated and then we had found that it is 0 0.05 mole right okay so this is the initial number of moles of the sodium hydroxide before the mixture uh, took place or before the reaction uh, between these two took place right okay so let's now calculate the number of moles after this uh, ethanoic acid has been poured to the sodium hydroxide so now we are trying to calculate the number of moles of the hydroxide ions in this solution here so the first thing that we need to do calculating the number of moles of the hydroxide ions in the mixture so let's indicate so that we are not lost then a uh, simple we have to say c is equals to n over v remember we have the concentration it's 2.51 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 right and then we have n the volume note that it's 800 centimeter cube which needs to be converted to 0 0.8 now just cross multiplying this we end up with 0 0.002 mole right so these are the number of moles of the hydroxide ions finally right but then when we say finally note that uh, i hinted you to the fact that when we say number of moles finally we are alluding to the excess number of moles right so these are the number of moles in excess right but then in order for us to use the ratios remember in order to get to this one we need to use the ratios in order to find the number of moles for this one we need to use the ratios but then remember we cannot use the ratios on the initial number of moles or on the excess number of moles we need to use the ratios only on the reacted number of moles so that means our next mission is to find the number of moles reacted of the what of the hydroxide ions now if we are given that so to find that we have to say number of moles initially minus the number of moles finally when the ones reacted we need to consider the ones initially minus the ones in excess finally represents the ones in excess right so now we calculate that by simply saying 0 0.05 minus 0 0.002 and then we find that the number of moles reacted is 0 0.048 mole right now according to our knowledge of acids and bases we know that the number of moles of the hydroxide ions is exactly the same as the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide why because sodium hydroxide is just simply a diprotic base so it produces only one hydroxide ion so that means the number of moles would also be equal because here they have a ratio the ratio of sodium hydroxide to the hydroxide ions it produces is always one is to one so that means they have the same number of moles and then they also have the same concentration so in other words therefore the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide is also 0 0.048 mole as well right but then are we concerned about the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide no we actually want this here but then we needed to find that because that's the only way we can get to the ethanoic acid now we say what is the ratio of the sodium hydroxide to the ethanoic acid in terms of the reacted num the number of moles reacted so it's one is two one right as we can see here the coefficients now this means if we have 0 0.048 moles 
reactate of the sodium hydroxide and the ratios are the same that means also the number of moles reacted for the ethanoic acid is also 0.048 mole right okay but then from what we are getting here we are saying that uh, the excess is the hydroxide ions which makes this one the limiting reagent and then this here the excess reagent so our sodium hydroxide here is the excess reagent because when we check here we still had some of the hydroxide ions here in the final solution there is no trace of the acid because all of the acid reacted it's a limiting reagent okay so now in this case we now have to understand that to calculate the concentration it's just a matter of saying c is equals to n over v right and then we have our concentration number of moles is 0 0.048 but then the volume of this here ethanoic acid is what ethanoic acid of volume 500 centimeter cube so we're going to convert this 500 centimeter cube to 0 0.5 now, when you punch that into your calculator, your concentration is 0 0.096 mole per dm cube, right? So we do understand why we used this one here, because this one, as much as we understand that it's the one that reacted, but if we are saying this is the limiting reagent, that means the number of moles reacted is exactly the same as the number of moles initially, since all of the number of moles will be used up remember a limiting reagent is a substance uh, that is used up completely in a chemical reaction right so that means initially if we have 0 0.048 on change or reacted we also have 0 0.048 so that finally we end up having zero right when we subtract the two so i hope that makes sense that's how you were supposed to go about uh, answering this question here for six marks so make sure that you just pay attention to the way i approach this question and then a few more practices you'll be able to master how these questions are actually being tackled so yeah with all that being said guys please press the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the lesson and then you found it helpful and if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet please 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 hit hit that subscribe button but most importantly please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance remember do not be selfish we are winning as a team